Good day to all. This is Kanmedi Hassan from Bangladesh once again. And in today's class, I'm going to discuss what is a compound sentence and its characteristics. Uh, let me define first what is a compound sentence. So let's see the definition. Basically, a compound sentence is a sentence that has at least two independent clauses joined by a comma, semicolon, or conjunction. An independent clause is a clause that has a subject and a verb and forms a complete thought. Examples of a compound sentence. An example of a compound sentence is, this house is too expensive and that house is too small. Here you can see this sentence is a compound sentence. Why? Because it has two independent clauses. This house is too expensive and that house is too small. Separated by a comma and the conjunction and. In a compound sentence, you will find so many coordinators. Let's see the coordinators. When independent clauses are joined with coordinators, also called coordinating conjunctions, commas and semicolons, they do more than just join the clauses. They add meaning and flow to your writing. First, let's look at the coordination coordinators you can use to join independent clauses. And they are for, and, no, but, or, yet, so. Let's look at the examples with the coordinators. She did not cheat on the test for it was the wrong thing to do. Here you can see the coordinator for has been used to add to clauses. And the next one, I really need to go work, go to work. I really need to go to work, but I'm too sick to drive. Here you can see another coordinator and it is but. And then I'm counting my calories, yet I really want dessert. Yet is also a coordinator here. He ran out of money, so he had to stop playing poker. So is a coordinator here. They got their early and they got really good seats. So and is another coordinator. So in a compound sentence, you will frequently find these types of coordinators. That's all for today. Thank you very much for patience hearing.